In studio right now is speaking of flipping off the president. Yes. No, I'm just kidding. I, Ron, I don't how do I? I've I, I've I've had a brain lapse, and how? What, we used, you had come on the air years ago with I me, did. right? Yeah. What was what were you on about? I had forgotten what the issue was. I had a television show called Planet Utica. I remember that organization. Yeah. We produced multi. We produced uh, alternative news and multicultural community news in the DeSales building. All through Mohawk Valley. I remember Valley. that. I yeah. totally remember that. Yeah, the '90s into the 2000s. And it's yeah. uh, and it's uh, Kloppenstein. Stein. Stein. Kloppenstein. Okay. Kloppenstein. Yeah. Uh, okay, Ron, you're in uh, you're in West Berlin, and you're making a big noise, big noise over there in West Berlin. I'm trying to. You're running for town supervisor. No, town councilman. You're running for town council. Town council. I'll get <laughs> That's my fault. That's my fault. <laughs> mm, yeah, that's okay. I can only go by one. Uh, what Andrew said, pronounced S T E E N. Thanks. Ah, uh, it's okay. <laughs> Town supervisor. It's okay, you just have to Thanks. vote for me. That's all that matters. Yeah, all right. <laughs> so, um, as town council, I have to tell you, it's unlike, uh, I know you had been reaching out to us to come on, and then all of a sudden began a campaign. I did, the, a Twitter campaign. A Twitter I probably campaign. had the first Twitter campaign to get on your show. I'll bet. You might have. Well, yeah. At the very least, the first Twitter campaign of a West Berlin Town Council. <laughs> <Yeah>, right. <laughs> I've never had that happen before. And it worked. It did work. So here you are. You here made it. And we're not even giving a, a moment for your opponent to come in because we don't even know who he is. My, uh, my, I have two opponents. Will who, you tell us who they are and be fair here? I suppose I, I, will, yeah. I, I will be fair. Are you on the council now? No, no. No. I'm brand new to politics. All right. So I believe that a town councilman should go out to every person in town meet every person in town, give them their phone number, their email address. They should be on Facebook, be you accessible. You, you, My you, opponents are not. Your family doesn't live in a flood zone, and they're not ready to take your house away, are they, um, or no. anything like that? So no, we no, don't have a flood zone. No terrible thing that has caused you to run? Except there is just... no terrible thing. No, I'm okay. actually the president of the Historical Society. All right. I love to organize town events. I have a good track record with that. I did our town's first flag day event back in June. I did a Your movie first night. What, what was the day? Flag day. It was flag a flag day, day event okay. for the Historical Society. That was the first time Westmoreland had done that. It was. Wow. It was. I did a movie night in the town park a few weeks ago to raise money for the town pool. That Very was nice. a big event. I did uh, Halloween a few days get, ago. Is that pool ever going to get... Uh, Absolutely. There's is. a group that's been working yeah. on it for years. They is raised that, over $60,000. Is that the one when you get off the, the throughway there? It's down oh, in, yeah. inside it there. Is, and it's, right. Yeah. And it needs to be reopened. Yeah, it does. When yeah. I was uh, out campaigning last, last week, my opponents were putting out a letter saying that the current plan of the current town council yeah. is to ship the children to Rome for the summertime. Mm. When we have a perfectly, we have a town pool that just needs about this much more help to yeah. open. Well, you're going to have to raise it. It's all those, done without the, taxpayer funds. These pools are very expensive. And yes. it's not like the old days where it's like, listen, uh, who cares about uh, bacteria or anything like that? <laughs> We're just going to let these kids swim. Today, I are, hope there wasn't bacteria when I was swimming in the pool. Today, well, there probably was. You know, <laughs> well, <laughs> feces know about, and all. You seem to be okay, that, but yeah. <laughs> Any, anyway, uh, today though, the the standards are much higher to keep these pools going, and you know we see it in Utica as well. That's uh, they're expensive, but you feel you guys can get that thing going. Absolutely, and then the kids don't have yes. to travel to Rome. Exactly. They yeah. shouldn't be shipping the children of West Berlin off to Rome in the All summertime. Right. They need a place where they can go to ride their bikes, to have something to do in town. It's appropriate and necessary for a town to provide summer activities for its children. All right. Very nice. And that's what, And as I was out campaigning and saying, sharing that message, the current town council members in my opponent's party was actually putting out a letter saying that what we should do with the kids is Just ship, ship them off to Clinton or ship them off to Rome. Rome. Okay. So um, that's is one of the- Is it cheaper? Is that why, do, do you want to guess why they're saying that? I mean, is it is it cheaper? It's important to, to know that the town pool is being um, restored and reopened by a nonprofit organization. Hey, if you can do it, so, if you guys can do it and actually get it done without it costing the taxpayers money and uh, operate it in a way that would not cost the taxpayers money i guess that would be a real positive right it certainly would and you be. feel you That's can do I that stand for it. yes you, you do and yes. by raising money and that sort of thing and have it safe for the kids i've only been involved with them for a few for like a few months they've already worked on it for two years they've okay. raised tens I know of thousands a, of dollars it's been a big issue then. yes mm -hmm. and are very close to the point where it can be reopened then we can go out and sell memberships yep. i'm not good at building but i'm good at marketing and pr and i'll be out there in front of stewart's for a nice and easy with my table yeah selling memberships all summer long and they will too and it can be done because okay. the people want it 
Well, um, I think that sounds really positive. What else Thank do you, you stand for um, for this town council? I'm sorry, because, and I don't, and I'm. It's just that we we could never cover every town council race I understand. because there's so many out there. Right. But you were just uh, very proactive. We had no choice but to allow you because I don't think you would have stopped. That's what I'm about. It and is. That's what I will do for the town of Westmoreland. Well, I think that is. I will a represent them in the yeah. media. I will go out to every voter, as I've done, to find out what it is that they want done. Yeah. I will make government more open to the people. I will make a town council. I'll be a town councilman that you can talk to. All right. If you come to me with a question, with a problem, with an idea, yeah. the first thing I'll ask is, how can I help? And that's uh, what I've been doing for three months, volunteering you know, I, for everything I possibly could. I didn't know, but uh, Westmoreland over there, maybe you know about this, um, The there is a lot of water the, the, it's like village water through into the rural areas, and it was about fire hydrants. So do you know not, anything about that? It's not where I am. We don't. It have, isn't. You, you don't know, have water. It's just in the village. Yeah. It's just yeah. in the village. Right. Okay. Because I think there are, I see, you see there's fire. There's a lot of Westmoreland that is not covered by it water. It is not covered by that. And there's places there should be. I was yeah. down campaigning in a trailer park on Martin Drive right off of uh, uh, Route 5 in, Kirk, yeah. in Kirkland. They're in Kirkland. But they are not given the town water. Mm. And they have E. coli in their wells. And at times, they've gone two weeks without water. Wow. And they, wow. they feel they have no representation on the town council. And you would be that. They're not uh, the only one. Yeah. How about I flooding? Is that. That, has that been an issue? Are you guys in that <clears throat> flood area that, uh, as you're going along? Is that. Well, is, over the summer, there were parts that were flooded. Yeah. Not all of Westmoreland. Yeah. Some is, some is right. high, some is low. We have okay. some nice creeks in Westmoreland. Yes, you do. And all some, right. Sometimes they get a little bit too big. Mm -hmm. Well, you got to be careful with that. Be careful anything, with anybody, that. Any questions anybody has here for Ron? No. Okay, give the final plea. If, I, if your opponents do call us, we're going to have to let them on the air. You know that. My so. opponents will not call, call you, they, they won't. are completely inaccessible to the public. They don't give out their phone number, their email address. They have no websites, no Facebook pages, no way to get in touch with them. I'm just the opposite. You can call me. You can text me. You can find me on Twitter, on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. I'll answer your comments. You can get in touch with me any way that works for you. Do you give out your phone number? 315-886-2665. Ron Kloffenstein at Gmail or go on Facebook.com slash Be More Westmo. Right. Today's free money question is, can you spell... Uh, his last name. If you can, it's worth a hundred bucks coming up. Well, don't ask, don't don't ask Andrew how to spell it. No, nope. he'll yep. give it to you incorrectly, or what he's running for. <laughs> I believe it starts with an R. I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, Ron. Good luck tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Thanks so much. We did finally get you on. Great, we did. great campaign. Thanks to my Twitter fans who Very promote nice. it. They, uh, we're all about it.